All right, guys, so I'm going to show you real quick what a uh, massive oil leak looks like, and I'm also going to show you the uh, way to fix it. I'm not going to go through things like how to you know, remove the manifold. Uh, maybe we'll do that another time. But uh, I am going to show you real quick how um, to diagnose it. But uh, real quick, let's, let's jump to the back. All right, so uh, I ran it a little bit yesterday, and that's what prompted me to want to do this video for you and uh, let's go ahead and let the video play for a little bit it's gonna be about uh, roughly two minutes and you'll get to see what uh, a massive oil leak looks like uh, pay uh, particular attention to right here as it you know drips down and um, you'll see down here there'll be uh, a good amount of oil um, but yeah without further ado let's go ahead and hit that video so you can see it. So that was uh, pretty terrible, right? A lot of oil leaking out. And it doesn't take much um, to get to that point. But uh, I'm here today to, to kind of show you. This kind of looks crazy, right? I already have the head out. Um, you don't have to take your head off, just to let you know. Uh, I took mine out, so it make it a little bit easier for, uh, for everyone to see uh, what's going on. I've, I've been doing some other stuff as well, so <laughs> by all means, don't think that you have to... Uh, take your head off to complete this job because you really don't it's super easy all right so just imagine your head um, still being on the the engine block and everything still attached all you have to do um, is remove the valve cover now you're, you're gonna notice here I have all my valves out except for these two uh, I did that on purpose for the purpose of this video to kind of show you what exactly is causing um, the oil leak and just to give you a hint it is these two seals right here um these two and these two and those two so quick uh quick little hint there that's uh, really what it is but um anyway so you're gonna need to get your valve covers off you're gonna have to take off your exhaust manifolds to get to those and your valve cover once you have your valve covers off um inside your um, engine compartment depending on how much room you have you're you're gonna need to also take out your spark plugs so if you have a VA you'll need to take eight of them out um, so here you'll see one of the spark plug holes what you're gonna do is you actually have to get a fitting to blow air inside there um, if you go online and you research how to change um, valves or sorry valve springs yeah, it's pretty easy pretty easy process to do but ba basically you thread in um, a fitting in here. You'll take your air compressor and um, force air into these cylinders and that'll keep your valves up. Uh, the reason why you need to do that is because once you use your valve uh, compressing spring and you actually take off your your keeper and your um, your valve springs it's going to leave you to what you see here. Now there's a lot of work um, in my opinion to get to this point but at least you know you'll if you don't decide to do this job yourself um, you'll see how I did it and let you know it's all involved in it so anyway so the we use the spring depressor we got the springs off um, from here you'll see these little rubber valve seals is what they call them. okay so get your flathead and like I said yours you shouldn't have to do this uh, that was just the exhaust valve to give you an idea um, these little guys now these little guys right here these are your your valve seals um, 
they run probably about for you know all eight for your exhaust and all eight for your intake these little guys I would probably say if you get the the Felpro brand um, which is what I went with you could probably get them all for roughly about 20 bucks to do this you're gonna spend more time and labor and and whatnot um, you know getting to these little buggers but this is what this is what was causing it um, I'm gonna show you a video here towards the end of what it looks like after I, I replace these but you know when they go where do they go but that's this is how you put them on this video really isn't kind of an instructional on on how to do this replacement it's just more of a you know a cause you know what what's causing my OMC to to leak so much oil and and so much soot and and all that nastiness right I mean what's causing it and that's um, that's these little guys here uh, the other thing you need to be concerned with as well is are you leaking oil because you have bad rings on your uh, cylinders and that that is definitely a possibility you you could be leaking oil through your cylinders if that's the case you need to do a compression check uh, or perhaps a leak down uh, check on your uh, cylinder heads so that that very well could be the case but I'd uh, say you do a um, a compression check and everything checks out fine well congratulations you just need to spend 20 bucks on these little buggers right find the fitting that blows air into the cylinders to keep these valves up so you you know they don't fall down into the piston 20 bucks replace all eight on one side eight on the other and um, that's it and, and you're good to go you can do this without um, just keep in mind all in order to do this repair all you have to do is simply remove your valve covers um, really that I mean if you get down to the the very basic of it I mean that's that's all you have to do um, and you know you could do this in a weekend I did all 16 of mine uh, probably I don't know it, it takes longer to get everything off I would probably say you can do it in four hours or so but uh, you know don't don't feel too discouraged if you end up taking it to, to someone you know try to price out labor uh, costs but you know at the end these guys are not very expensive like, as I was saying before you know you can get them all 16 of them for 20 bucks and then this little fitting comes uh, in some of your uh, compression testing um, kits you'll actually have a fitting that goes in there and you just hook it up to your air compressor and it, it keeps these um, valves up but um, you know that's it that, that was the the whole cause for um, my OMC Cobra to start leaking a lot of oil out of them so um, I hope this video helped and if you guys like my videos feel free to subscribe uh, share and um, have a good one take it easy everybody